I was given the privilege to serve as Premier almost eight years ago. Today, I'm announcing my intention to resign that position as soon as a new leader is chosen. Earlier today, I met with the President of the Liberal Party, and he has now begun the process of coordinating a leadership convention for early in the new year. My expectation is that this will not take many months. As I outlined earlier, I had a couple of objectives after I was sworn in as Premier. I wanted a stronger education system, I wanted access to health care improved, and I wanted to help young islanders get to university and college. Those were my priorities and our priorities, and I hope that they remain as priorities. But there is also a great deal of room for new ideas and a new approach. I want to say to each of my colleagues here with me today, it has been an absolute pleasure to serve with each and every one of you. You know, coming in as a young Premier at 33, where most of my team are a little bit to quite a bit older than I am, um, it was humbling to have the support uh, of so many passionate people about our province, uh, and it's made my job a privilege um, and easier over the last 12 years as leader, but almost eight years as Premier, uh, by having such a fantastic team. To my wife, Kate, who married in to politics. Uh, I could, have, could not have done this without you. If you think our journey, um, election campaigns, three little kids, uh, full-time work, um, it's been uh, a great ride. And uh, I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, and I thank you uh, and uh, Julia, Emma, and Jack, and uh, our respective families for being fantastic and supportive of uh, my dreams uh, of uh, working to make Prince Edward Island a better place.